What's going on, y'all? It's your boy RC80 Great. Back again with another video. Today, we're going over another money play out of the Celtics, Mavericks, or Bucks playbook that I showed you last week. Um, it's going to be a three point play for a three point shooter on your team, but you can also use it to get easy buckets inside with your point guard. Um, I use these plays online. I mix up how I play. As you can see, I do have Dan Issel and Michael Finley, so I have been going 12 0. Um, but without further ado, you're definitely going to need a good point guard, somebody that can handle the ball in traffic and that can make good passes um, out of double teams or good passes off of screens. I use uh, Ben Simmons and Chris Paul for this. Uh, ben Simmons is able to get to the basket if the defense cheats off the screen that I'm going to be using. And Chris Paul is able to hit the mid-range if they back off. And you're definitely going to need a big somebody that can shoot the three because there is some kind of pick and fade action in this play that you will be seeing uh, once we get started. The play is also called for either a shooting guard, point guard, pop or whoever has a three-point play attached to them. You're going to want them to have the corner specialist badge if you can. If not, it's fine. It just helps out because this person is going to be fading to the corner if you direct them off the pass. Without further ado, let's get into it. The play is called Quick 2 Fist 71. Quick 2 Fist 71. You're going to get a double screen. Just let the play run all the way through you. Obviously, y'all know we're going to go through the slow breakdown like I do every time we do a video. Let's get into the replay. All right, so Chris Paul's coming up the court. You get that double screen action on the right side for Zingas and Al Jefferson. You want to get around that screen. Now, right here, if you have a shooting point guard, you can take that shot, especially if you got like a deep range, dead eye, something like that. Take that shot or take that space. I was just showing you guys the full play. Um, right there, Michael Finley's getting a backdoor screen from Jordan. Right there is where you can push him over to the corner using that corner specialist three-point shot if you want to, or uh, over on the wing, whatever you want to do. That's an open three-point shot, and then an open shot for Chris Paul. Al Jefferson is going to be rolling to the basket on the pick and roll action if you wanted to use that. And then Porzingis is over on the left side doing a fade. So you have pick and roll and pick and fade in the same play. If you don't get it to Finley, he then comes around a curl screen at the foul line, which is the final action of the play. And it finally goes up for two. That's what I want to show y'all, the full play and how it goes. Easy bucket. And we're going to break it down even more in how you can use it, up, utilize it in different ways. All right, this time you can see, quick two, this 71. This time we're gonna hit Porzingis on that fade. As you saw Taj Gibson get into the lane. I'm open for three, easy with Porzingis. Buckets all day. Again, we're gonna come down with Ben Simmons. Call the play, quick two, this 71. Go around the double screen, get yourself inside and then kick it out for the fade. If the fade is open, always use that fade. That's exactly why you want somebody at the power forward spot that's going to be able to pick and fade and we'll show you here on the replay exactly what's going on in the play and why it happens that way take your man down to the left just to play if the play's on the left side make sure you get far enough on the left so that you're able to utilize that double screen get tight around it go right around the shoulder just like you should in real basketball and get yourself into the middle of the lane when you get into the middle of the lane, it draws that help defense. If somebody has help defensive settings on, it's going to draw that power forward over. And as you can see, Richard Hamilton was open. I could have hit him over there. But now Rafe LaFrance is wide open. He has a 92 three-point shot. That's deadly all day. Ben Simmons has beautiful passing, and he's tall enough to get the pass out there to Rafe. Wide open on the hook pass. Easy. The lefty. For three cash money. If they don't play that fade, it's gonna be open all game long. And Rafe approves of this message. Alright, now if you need to, you can use all the space on the other side too. You can deny the screen and go the other way for an easy basket, especially if you have a strong finisher, somebody like Ben Simmons. Like I said, is always my favorite person to use in the game. He's able to finish strong at the basket. Um, because I denied the screen and went the other way. But let's get into some online matches. I know y'all want to see, does this actually work online? How does it work online? Now, this was my grind to get Dan Issel. 
So some of these games are directly from there. So I was using different plays, so it's not gonna be a whole game of these plays. It's gonna be different games. And towards the end, I'll show you, you know, what to look for in the defense of how to use it the best way. But coming up to court, quick two fist 71. I'm going straight to the basket because I have a smaller defender on me. They help out. Rickless Prince is wide open. Easy two. I'm going to take that all day. All day. Once again, we got a different game. I'm calling the play again on the right side. Using that double screen. Get around there. Rachel Prince wide open again because the defense helped out. I'm, that's my first look all the time. I kind of like to look for the back door. You, you can see my opponents are always quitting. I don't know why, but they like to quit because they know they can't stop me. I shoot about 80% of the game. But again, call the play. Make sure you get around that double screen. This time, I actually do hit the guy that's going around the back door screen wide open for three. And then again, you do know that you can go to the lane. You can drive to the lane off of this. So if the three-point shot is not open, but you do have some room to get into the lane, have somebody that can finish at the lane and shoot jump shots, it's always good to have both. Um, just being able to shoot all the time is not always going to happen. You got to get yourself inside as well. All right. Chris Paul coming up the court. Double screen again. Paul Zingas, wide open because they're trying to help. They see Chris Paul going into the lane. They got to slide over. Another person quitting the game, man. Y'all got to stop quitting on me for real, man. All right, once again, double screen. Get yourself in the lane. Paul Zingas, you see that fade. That fade is deadly in this play. Use the fade as much as you can, but don't be afraid to shoot the ball with your point guard. If they're going to give you a shot or give you that roll action, be able to get inside too, but if they start playing that fade too much, you've got to be able to do both. Now, this is the game I wanted to show y'all that you have to know who's guarding. Right now, Scotty Pippen is on Finley. Don't force shots like that. I did that purposely to show y'all don't do stuff like that because you have to know who's guarding him. Instead, this is what you can do. You see the person's trail on the screen, you can't get a shot. Look for the fade man right after. He might be a wide open, but the last thing you want to do is force shots. You can also look who's on the court and see who the weakest defender is and call the play for that. Right now, Porzingis is the weakest defender on the court, so I just called the play for my Porzingis and he actually got bumped by the backdoor screen. You want the person on defense to get bumped by the backdoor screen to open that shot up. Show y'all once again. Call the play for Porzingis. Porzingis gets stuck in the screen. My Porzingis hits the shot easy. You want to make offense easy for yourself. Don't call the player somebody has Scotty Pippen on. He's going to get around the screen all day unless you've got a brick wall screener. Right there, had a switch. Scotty Pippen left Finley, was wide open. But as you can see, that play works beautifully. Mix that in with the last two plays I showed you in the Celtics playbook. I'm going to do two more Celtics playbook plays before I switch playbooks for you guys. But be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, if it helped you out. Hit me up on PSN, RCA the Great. Have a good one. I have another play for y'all next week. Peace.